Education is one of the founding pillars in any stable country. Education, a decent education, leads to medical breakthroughs, leads to energy breakthroughs, leads to industry revolutions. And yet what we have seen since 2010 is a dismemberment, not just of the NHS, but also education. Those who do manage to further their education are often left with crippling debt and a degree in something that they can't pursue because this country has shut down every resource to it. So they're left with two options. Either stay in a country that has no future for them in the area they wish to continue or leave the country. Last week, a story came out that a lot of schools across the UK are have been hit just as bad as this and they have proposed that they're going to have to go to a four and a half day school week now while I'm sure there are tons of kids who love the idea of no school on Friday afternoon it does have a significant impact when it comes to childcare because there are very 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 few bosses who will see this story and go okay well you need to take care of your kids so off you pop and even those that do well they're going to be missing a fairly substantial chunk out of their paycheck from that point forward but why is this happening as i said education is one of the strongest should be the strongest pillars in any stable uh, country and what we have seen from the Conservatives since 2010 is that they don't care about the country. They have attacked the NHS and dismembered it. They have attacked and sold off public transport that we do still pay into. They are attacking schools to the point now where public schools have to shut on Friday afternoon because there isn't funds available. Now again, this is not in every single county, this is not every single school, but this is heavily in areas where Conservatives and Tories lead councils. How has this happened? The political structure that we follow mirrors the American political structure. Now, our corruption isn't as blatant and as apparent but it is still there and just as rife throughout Parliament. Conservatives do not serve the people. They do not get the tax money and then redistribute it into areas it's needed. They give massive tax breaks to massive corporations who pay them in turn for their contributions to the corporation cause. A good case for this is Ben Bradley. Ben Bradley was sued for uh, saying that Jeremy Corbyn was a spy. Obviously a lie. But what happened? Well, Bradley got sued. He lost the case. And Bradley's donors ended up paying the legal fees for him. By taking public money and giving it to the wealthy, giving it to corporations, and yes, by giving high-ranking cabinet members even more money and allowances, like £70 a day just for a lunch allowance at Parliament, it leads to a deficit. They have to recoup that money from somewhere. So where does it come from? It doesn't come from a fair tax on Amazon that operates not just out of the US, but also operates in the UK. It doesn't come from a fair tax on Google. It doesn't come from a fair tax on Alan Sugar and other multi-millionaires like uh, Richard Branson. It comes from the public budget. It comes from education. It comes from uh, public sectors that get sold off. It comes from cutting corners here, there and everywhere. And in this particular case, it has meant that a number of schools will not be able to do 
the five day school day that they used to do. And they will have to cut at least half of their day just so they can remain open. This is not something that was an inevitability. This is not something that is because of Brexit or because of the value of the pound or inflation. This is something that is a direct result from Tory austerity, something that has been proven to be completely artificial and inflicted, not a necessity. What is happening now is because of Theresa May and David Cameron. It is because of the Conservative Party and it will continue regardless of what Conservative replaces Theresa May, whether it's Boris, whether it's Jacob, whether it's Michael Gove. This is a Conservative plotline. This is not a necessity. And to simply write it off as such is a disservice not only to the people of the UK, but to education and the fundamental right that we have to education.